What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and welcome back to another photo analysis. This time, I'll be analyzing the covers of Tomomi Kahara's single, Kimi Ga Soba De. And I'll begin with the regular edition version of the single cover. All right, so we got pretty much an upper body shot of Tomomi Kahara. She's dressed in all white. Um, the background is white as well. A whole bunch of white, you know, a whole bunch of white. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is supposed to symbolize exactly. I know some people, um, I know like Sigmund Freud thinks that um, white is associated with the afterlife. Um, although the look that she's giving me doesn't necessarily give me an afterlife feel. Um, also, whiteness, or white, the color white is associated with purity. Perhaps maybe something that she's trying to portray is purity of some sort. Um, I think that her body positioning could have been a little bit better. Um, it looks like her hair is wearing her versus Tomomi wearing her hair. Um, also, the outfit that she's wearing isn't really anything spectacular. It looks like something that she would probably lounge around in on her off days, you know. You know, very comfortable, but I don't think it was the best choice for a single cover. Um, I like her smile, you know. I like her eyes, um, but her hair is a bit much in this photo, though. Um, I think it was a good call for them to button down her shirt. I don't know. She kind of looks like a mom. And not that it's a bad thing to look like a mom. But when you're kind of like, you know, on the cover of a single, you probably want to look more like, not necessarily like a MILF, but a little more edgy. You know? This... Tomi Kahara looks like she could be, I don't know, like again, lounging around or probably on her way to the grocery store. Um, you know, maybe picking up the kids from soccer practice. You know, like, you know, just, you know, too regular. You know, too regular. <clears throat> too plain. You know? And think about your competition too. You gotta have something that catches people's attention because there's so much competition out there that a photo like this could probably get overlooked. You know. Let's move on to the next single cover. Uh, this single cover is for the limited edition version of the single. Um, I don't, I don't know, I feel like this single cover sort of was on its way to being a good photo, but sort of got sidetracked. Um, the hair could have been, like, the hair looks nice, but I don't know, it, it, it looks like it's sort of, like, covering her up. And, you know, hair in the face is for ugly girls. I don't think Tomomi Kahata is an ugly girl, you know? I don't think she's an ugly woman. So I don't know why there's so much hair in the face here. Um, also, um, I don't like the way her hands look. They don't look terrible, but I don't know. They could look a little, a little bit better. And also, this photo sort of makes her look like a child almost. And she's way past being a child, you know. She's a grown woman. And also, the face that she's making in this photo... Eh. Um, and this is more like a beauty shot as well. So when it you, when it comes to the beauty shots, it's about the face. You know, the face sells the beauty shot. Without the without a good facial expression and a good looking face, you can't sell the beauty shot. And I think while her face doesn't look ugly, um, from a beauty shot, I would expect a little bit more. Um, but overall, this photo, it misses the mark, but I think it had 
it had the potential to be a good photo, but somewhere along the line it got lost. You know, <laughs> some somewhere it, you know, it lost its way. I like the color of her hair. It's like a nice dark brown. I think that's a good color. You know, and you know, it's it's especially appreciated when you know. So many women are going blonde these days, you know, so it's good to see someone going against the grain a little bit and being different and still having a darker shade of hair. But, you know, it's sort of different from, say, black hair, but it's still a dark shade of hair, you know. So I appreciate that. Um, so for me the better of the two photos is the regular edition uh, version of the single cover um, while both photo while both photos aren't anything special I think that this photo um, it looks a bit better you probably can recognize Tomomi Kahara a little bit more in this photo than in um, the other photo And I like her face in this photo. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think that while these photos aren't, you know, extremely terrible, um, they are a very lackluster for me. Um, but hey, you know, at least Tomomi Kahara is still doing the thing, right? At least she's still in the game. So at least we got that. Uh, but what do you guys think? Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and your support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. And to the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.